Hey guys, today we are in Shinjuku uh, with Ken. Uh, Ken hey, Niura. Uh, he's a fellow mangaka from Spain. And we are here in one of the biggest stationery and art supply stores in Tokyo uh, called Sekaito. Uh, so, how often do you come to Sekaito, Ken? Every time I need supplies. Yeah. So, which is basically pretty often. But like, <laughs> this is basically, I guess like if you're in Tokyo, this is the one place to come. Yeah, like I recommend all my friends to come yeah. uh, if they're even a little bit interested in like cool pens and, and like new uh, stationery, if that's your thing. Um, yeah. Well, I mean, whenever there's like people coming from abroad and they're like art, it's like, this, yeah. is, like, this is one of the best like stops ever. It's oh, like, totally, man. We're going to take you to the yeah. nice place. You can find everything here. We're going to show everything cool about the store and uh, hopefully uh, it'll be fun. So, okay. Okay, so pens. I buy quite a few pens. Yeah, this floor, like the first floor is basically like basic stationery like notebooks and yeah. stickers cards and, yeah uh, uh, files yeah folders stuff, stuff for like, like the regular person uh, office worker uh, yeah. uh, but so then yeah if you're into comics like there's yeah. quite a lot of things that you can I mean you would buy here as you can see the selection is amazing a lot of people ask you what kind of light you use ah uh, right sure uh, I stick to this brand here, um, Pentel, Einstein, 0.5. Uh, I, I press really hard on my paper when I'm drawing, so I find that a lot of the lead I used to use used to break all the time, and it was but, really annoying. You, but you use like uh, black or color? Uh, no, just this is, is this colored? Oh, I don't know. No, I think it's normal. Oh, I see, okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, I was saying. Yeah. So just regular 0.5 lead. Um, so if you're a fellow person that presses really hard, I recommend this brand. Mm. Um, I've tried so many. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. Um, um, I usually use these ones here. They're like blue and... Uh, oh yeah, yeah yep. these are the ones. They're blue, they're 0 0.7, so they're pretty thick. But they're pretty soft. So You, you didn't used to use that, right? It's quite within the last couple of years. Uh, yeah. yeah, sort of. And um, How do you like it? They're the best, yeah, uh, because they're pretty soft, yeah, and they're super easy to erase. Right. So um, it's a super good compromise. Um, yeah. yeah. For the non-artists, uh, comic artists like to use blue lines sometimes because uh, it doesn't show up on the scans. Um, so you can just leave it on the paper and then ink right on top of it. Right. Um, so it's really a useful so it tool. Saves you the time to uh, of like erasing. Which I mean, if you yeah. draw a lot, then you might be. I don't know how about you, but like sometimes. Well, not your arm, <laughs> but I, I get super, it's super tiring. Yeah, and you like, you know, sometimes you, the paper catches and you bend yeah, it right. and it's not a pretty sight and you get right. all these eraser bits all over. So we, yeah. Um, so what else do we have around Markers. Here? Markers, there's a, oh no, there's a pretty good selection here. Yeah. I use markers to spot my blacks. Um, mm. I have my favorite brand. I don't know if they're here, but I, oh, here it is. I use these. The Pilot Super. Oh yeah, these, are, great. these are amazing. Yeah, and they don't run; they yeah. dry instantly. Yeah, um, and I use so this one is the thick one, and then there's a Jeez. medium one too. So yeah. I have both, yeah. and I use them accordingly. But yeah, I really recommend but those. You use them to like fill the black parts and stuff. Yeah. yeah. Oh wow. Okay. Because yeah. I've seen. I mean, the ones I've like a friend recommended me mm -hmm. some time ago are these ones here. I think they're oh. called. They have a funny name, which is like juice paint <laughs> but anyway and they're like i think they've they're kind of like recent okay. if, yeah and the things like oh, they are they're uh oil based ah uh, these are a little bit yeah but whenever you get like black mm -hmm. it's a super not this one here but op opaque yeah uh and they're pretty good for you know filling and the colored ones uh the cars are super bright yeah. too so does it not bleed through the paper like no, those thick much. markers, like I'm always worried that it'll bleed through. Right, no, 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 that oh. much. Okay. So they're, and, and I think they're kind of new, so yeah. you certainly find them in Japan pretty much everywhere. Yeah. Okay, let's keep going. Yeah. Second floor. Second floor. This is where we spend most of our time. Um, where should we start? Yeah, this is yeah. basically like, uh, how do I say, 
uh, I mean, if you're an illustrator, yeah. this is basically your floor. Yeah, seriously. Um, All the reference books you could possibly want. Terada, Katsuya. Katsuya, yeah, like all the big like illustrators. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, if you want to be aware of like you know what's going on right now in Japan as far as like illustration, yeah. uh, this is kind of like the section for that. Oh, they have more yeah. than these. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. It's cool. Nice. Uh, like this series of uh, yeah. background books, I bought so many of these. Yeah. Um, so it says here background catalogs. And it's got like anything you can imagine: schools, museums, uh, like uh, street views, yeah. like city views. So you know, it's one-stop place to get uh, ideas for backgrounds. I have these action pose books too, and they come in mm -hmm. really handy, um, just for like uh, clothing wrinkles yeah. and poses that you can't really uh, picture on your own. So yeah. very and useful as well. Again, these ones are really thought for manga. Yeah. So they have like standard poses somehow that you know you might want to use so it's not just like this is how people move but it's more like this is how people would move in you know in, in a comic, comic yeah. in a way yeah, totally. so they're kind of uh you know very very specific for for manga but they're yeah. super helpful when it comes to yeah. looking for stuff so like here's that. here's more art books uh i love this guy sushil yeah amazing animator okay so we're in the pencil aisle uh, i don't use too many pencils but i know can you ink yeah, so the things like, uh, so Takashi, you use like pen and yep. ink to, yep. in, to ink, yep. so to do the line work. Uh, but I use like the, the blue lead, uh, blue sharpen that I showed before. Mm -hmm. And then for the line work, I use pencil yep. that I then like just burn on Photoshop. Yeah. And the one brand. And the, the line quality you get is really nice. It's like soft yet still hard and dark. Right. Uh, and dark. that was again like, Thanks to like trial and error, yeah. uh, coming here and trying different papers with different uh, yeah, pencils. Yeah, yeah. The ones I've I found that the, for me were the best are this uh, Mono 100 from Tombow. Mm -hmm. uh, I use a depending on the day or the so maybe 6B. You use a 6B? Yeah. Oh my god. But the things like they're, I mean, of course it's super soft, but it's very dark yeah. the line you get, and it's very easy to erase. Yeah. So again, it's like the perfect balance between because like sometimes it's too dirty yeah. and it's too soft yeah, and it's yeah. not the case for the, this tumble ones uh, so we have the japanese calligraphy brush pens here um, these are amazing like you could uh, change the ink so you could eternally use the uh, the brush tip and just keep replacing the ink and uh, you can always get a crisp line uh, so I really recommend them yeah, and, and the good thing about here again is like you have the range so you have many different types of uh, color ink and you also have different kind of brushes okay so we're in the mangaka aisle <laughs> as you can see uh, tones Um, so pen nibs, I use, I've tried everything, but my favorite is like the G pen. And that's what a lot of uh, jump manga artists use. Uh, it's kind of the standard in the industry. Um, hold on, I think they're over here. Yeah, so G pen right here. It's hard to describe the, 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 the subtle differences you get. Um, it's like the way they've cut the metal. Um, these are all dipping nibs. Um, and then they have ones like this that are a little more round and soft and bigger. Um, I use this one. Um, so are the holders, I've gone through so many of these. Yeah. Oh my God. Uh, I do like these cork ones. Um, because like I said, I, I, I hold my pencils really hard. So oh. stuff like this with something a little soft really helps me.
Okay, so we're in the paper section. Um, this is all pre-cut uh, manga paper. Uh, this e usual size is B4. Um, it's a little smaller than uh, American com comic size. And as you can see here, they have like the guidelines in blue. Oh yeah, pre-lined. So even with like a ruler yep. and everything, so they they kind of make your life easier because you don't have to yep. make it yourself. One and by one. like we mentioned with Ken's blue line, um, these don't show up in the scans, right. so it's really useful. Okay, so we're in the eraser section, as you can see. <laughs> they have pretty much anything you want. Yeah. Um, I use this one, this non-dust one. And I use it because it collects while you're erasing, so you don't get those tiny little dust particles. Mm. Um, and it, it uh, uh, erases really well. And I also use a kneaded eraser too. So this one. Hmm. Yeah, the good thing here is that you also have like weird shaped erasers. Yeah. I mean, I don't find one that I usually use, but for example, this one here, if you need just like a bigger surface and you want to erase like this, yeah. you have this kind of like triangular ones or... Um, so we got rulers here. I uh, use these occasionally. Um, it's hard to explain when to use them. Like just when I need circles. Oh, like light effects. When let's say someone's flashing a flashlight into the camera, then I get all these circles. And a lot of times I use that for this. These are really cool. Uh, they're flexible curve rulers mm. and you can get your your own edge, right? So let's say it's like, you know, a weird curved car shape and you can make that with this. I'm not sure, I think these are called French curls or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, I use these quite a bit just, you know, for odd surfaces. Yeah, so you can see like you can use multiple edges or whatever you need it for. Okay, so we're on the third floor. Uh, this is more for painters uh, and, and sketching and watercoloring. Uh, so here's a huge uh, sketchbook section. Yeah, so I use, for my commissions, I use this brand here. Vif Art. Uh, I use little, the size is not the one I use. I use like A4. Oh, there it is in there. Uh -huh. uh, and the paper quality is really nice. Yeah. It takes uh, Copic markers really well. Mm. So I recommend those if you want to uh, for drawings. And you use like a French brand or something? Sometimes yeah. I use this one here. Uh, I mean, I used to use that more when I was back in Europe. It's thicker. Mm. Oh yeah, it's yeah. super sturdy, but yeah, uh, super nice. But and, and in Europe, not that expensive. Mm -hmm. The thing is that you know because it's imported here in Japan, it's a little bit more pri pricier. So I I tend to use like the ones you use the Vif Art. Mm. I mean, it's just a tiny glimpse, but hopefully, you know, if any of you yeah. come to If Japan, you're ever in Tokyo, please uh, make some time, come to Sekaido and overhaul your stationery, because uh, you'll you won't be disappointed, I guarantee. I mean, if you come to Japan, just come empty-handed, like don't bring anything. <laughs> yeah. You just come here yeah. and just buy in, in, anything you will need for, you know. Okay, so thanks, Ken, for coming today. No, thank you for uh, having me. Super, I really appreciated fun. you making time and, you know, it was fun to walk around with you and talk about No, same our, here. Our, our, it was super tools. fun. So, uh, yeah, hopefully you guys will see Ken in a future video. Uh, until next time. Okay, see you. Bye. Bye.